What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching and not starting issue you're currently having with DayZ. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that, that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar. We're gonna right click your taskbar and open it up. Next step is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking onto processes. Once you click processes, simply click one of those random ones and type in D in order to find DZ, DZ. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, you should be able to end the task manager again. What I want you to do next is going to be to take your Steam or DayZ shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, clicking onto the Windows symbol and using your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right back on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click it and navigate to the very bottom where it says properties. Once you click that, you should be able to see this little window popping up. Afterwards, click on the compatibility and simply copy my settings. Let's quickly run through it. So compatibility mode, enable run this program in compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administer symbol right on your shortcut and afterwards just simply double click it and start your game and launch game over the launcher. This should fix the issue guys. Yeah that's it for the video, I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that and yeah guys I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way I hope you guys have a wonderful day, see you at the next one and bye.